Welcome to another episode of the Becky Choice Podcast Show. Today I have Leanne here, and Leanne is a mommy of two. She just finished my 90 Day Tummy Warrior program, and she's so excited. So that's why I got her on my podcast or the video that you're watching today to talk about uh, her journey and her experience, how it was like before her before her starting her um, DR journey, and how she is now. She's going to share some of the things that she learned, and maybe some of the things that. Uh, that are her favorite things inside the program. So I'm going to let Leanne talk and I'm so excited to have you, Leanne. Hi, Becky. I'm so excited to be here. Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming. Um, yeah, so I so guess... Yeah, tell, the, yeah, let, let, tell us a little bit about yourself and maybe, you know, just how you were before starting uh, or like, I know you're still pretty new postpartum. You're still in your first year postpartum. So talk about that journey as a mom of two now and maybe why, how you were like just before starting the program. Yeah. So, um, so I guess like to, to start it off, like before being pregnant, like I, I've never exercised. I've, I've always eaten whatever I wanted to eat, whenever I wanted to eat. Um, so after I had a C-section with my first and after that, and I didn't look the same. I was very confused. Um, but I thought, okay, it's probably like I had a C-section or, you know, the, um, you know, having a baby, whatever. Um, but then uh, around six months postpartum with my first, um, one of my coworkers asked if I was pregnant and I was so upset. And I was like, I thought I hid my stomach well, and I guess not. And, and after that, I was like, oh, I'm just so angry. But um, I wasn't ready to, to change how I didn't exercise or how I ate or anything. So I just kind of, I just kind of let it go. And I was like, oh, whatever. I, I'll just accept my new body, I guess. Um, so then when I had my second January, 2020, and, um, and then after that, I just, I was just like, okay, now, now I'm just sad. Like now I, I want to go clothes shopping. I want to, I want to buy stuff. I don't know if I'm going to look good in it. Um, and it just, it slowly was like, I, I, I would think like, okay, I'll do something about it. I'll do something about it. Um, I tried another program last year and it, it didn't, it didn't work. I, my before picture from day one to my last day was exactly the same. There were no results and that just really hurt my ego. Um, so after that, I was just like, whatever, I'm not doing anything. Um, and then one day, um, I guess like three and a half months ago, I, I was scrolling on Instagram and I found your picture and I just, really related to it. I just, I don't know what came over me to even contact you because it's not like me to find some like stranger on Instagram and say like, Hey, like help me with my life. Um, but I just, I just couldn't believe the results that you had. And I was like, if, if she can do it, like I can, I could do it too. Like, the, like we're both moms, like we can do it. So. And that, what was the trigger point for you? Um, to, to, to do the program? do something yeah I mean I, 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 I sorry go ahead. Yeah, sorry go ahead I was just gonna, I think it's just for me it was like um after my first I like got rid of all my clothes and um and I was like I'll never fit in these again whatever so then I would purposely buy clothes to help hide my stomach and I think after my second one um these clothes didn't hide my stomach anymore and I'm like they're supposed to hide my stomach and they're not and and now I don't know what to do because now I just I just look five months pregnant all the time. And, and since that one coworker asked if I was pregnant and that just really, really hurt me. I'm like, I don't want, you know, since the pandemic had happened and I, I have not been back in the office yet, but we will be going back. And I'm like, I cannot go back in the office and have people think that I'm, that I'm pregnant. Like I just, I can't have that happen again. So I, it was really just not being able to fit in my clothes anymore. And I, I just wanted, I just wanted the, cl the clothes to hide my stomach. I wanted it to do its job and then they weren't anymore. Yeah. It really crushes it. <sighs> somebody's self-esteem, a stranger or even a friend asking you if you're pregnant and when you're not. And it, it really, it seems like it's such a simple sentence. Like for that person, it's probably like they wanted to congratulate you. They wanted to, you know, be nice. It's a nice thing to say, but for that person listening to it, I have people asking if I was pregnant. I was like, I told my husband I wanted to cry. I'm like, really? Like, this is oh, my like stomach that bad? It's, it's really hurt like that, that. For, for the person who is listening to like for that mom for, for me listening to to what she said to me I'm like oh my god like is it that bad like, I looked at myself like oh my god then you, that kind of reality just kicks in 
you, yeah. you might not think it's that bad, but like somebody say something to you, then you realize, oh my gosh, it's like, it's actually quite bad. I think I felt that way too. I was like, okay, it's not that bad. Everyone knows I literally just had a baby. Like everyone knows. And then when she asked, I was just like, okay, it is that bad. I, I guess it is. And like, you know, obviously my husband's like, no, it's not that bad. It's not, he's like, he's just being nice about it. But, but yeah. of course, when I told him I was doing the program, he wasn't like, no, you don't need that. He's like, oh, okay. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah, you know, you know, it's bad. <laughs> Yeah, well, the husband is always supportive, supportive, <laughs> but they, they don't, they probably they don't, don't want to say the wrong thing. Yeah, <laughs> right? yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah. So I'm curious, you say you tried another program to a T or pretty much you were consistent with it, with that program. What, what, what do you think that didn't work for you? Uh, honestly, Becky, it was it was just not knowing if I was doing it right. Again, I, I had never exercised before. I just was watching a video. And, and, and since a lot of it is like breathing, it's like, okay, I know how to breathe. Like I can do mm -hmm. it. Um, mm -hmm. But it, I, I suppose I just wasn't doing it correctly, which um, obviously we can get into later, but um, that your program is just so helpful because you are submitting the videos to see like, okay, what am I doing wrong here and there? But yeah, I guess, I guess I just didn't do it right. I mean, obviously like they came out and said like 99% of moms have seen results and I'm like I or I it might have even been a hundred and I'm just like okay I'm I do not see any results <laughs> yeah 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 now let's talk about your DR so what were you like before you do you have the um uh, remember how wide and how squishy yes um so I do I and so I don't even know if I if I ever took the measurements correctly but I obviously did at some point because they they did change um so I I have um in the beginning of the program, my upper was about one finger uh, nail deep. The belly button was two nail deep. The lower was a, about half a finger, um, and that was relaxed. Um, and then um, engaged was um, it was two uh, two fingers with knuckle deep. Uh, the, the belly button was two knuckle two fingers knuckle deep, and um, the the lower was again like the the half about a half finger. Um, but but now when I am relaxed, it, it, the upper and the lower are closed. I can, I can't put anything there. Um, and, 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 and engaged for my belly button is about a finger and a half just nail deep. And even that I'm like, is it a finger and a half? Is it one? Like, but it's obvious. It's like, and even if you just look at my photos, like I, I showed my mom and she was just like, well, I mean, you're sucking in. And I was like, no, I'm not. Mom. <laughs> she was like, she was like, uh, no, believe me. Um, but yeah, so, um, I know when I first showed you my photo, you had said um, that you thought like maybe the DR wasn't that bad, but it was more bloating and it was, it, it would be to change how I eat, which was like a knife to my heart. I was like, I don't want to change the way I eat, but that really, I think that that helped a lot because I really tried to, to watch what I was eating, um, eat better things, actually eat fruits and vegetables. So. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, I mean, food is a huge thing for, DR moms and we think it is just for weight loss and for you, you don't really have too much weight to lose. A little bit. Yeah, right. I think I lost like maybe eight pounds. Um, yeah, really I good. wasn't like, I think I was at, um, when I first started, I weighed at like 125 pounds and then now I'm at like 113, which is pretty much what I was pre-pregnancy from my first. Um, so I'm just back at square one, which is good. I don't, I don't want to lose weight. I just I just didn't want my stomach anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And a lot of things that a lot of people think that nutrition or diet is just for weight loss or maybe gaining muscle mass. But it's actually a huge thing for moms with diastasis because our tissue is just so stretched out and the food that we're eating is going to produce gas. And those gas, that's, that's what it makes us look pregnant, bloating. And it's a, it's a huge thing for DR moms. And a lot of us don't realize that and think, oh, we can just eat whatever, maybe just uh, follow a weight loss nutrition plan. But there are a little bit more uh, to that, especially when it comes to bloat and sensitivity to guts. So I'm so glad that, you know, that, yes, you're right. I mean, for anybody who's listening, you, your starting point was pretty good, two fingers. Uh, nail deep or one knuckle deep so it wasn't that bad I would say like it's like a mild to moderate situation but we could see um when we looked at your picture it was like really rounded that belly and when you showed mm -hmm. it so uh, yeah I, I will get to that at the results in just a moment so but um were you skeptical about joining my program or were you thinking oh this is just another money grabbing kind of program <laughs> I mean, yeah, honestly, yeah, definitely. I mean, I mean, I'm sure that I've seen lots of different people post and for whatever reason, I don't even know, because I remember contacting you, like, she's probably not even going to get back to me. Like, you know, they say contact me, but they don't mean it. And then 
you know, you're like, oh, schedule a call with me. And I'm like, no, nah, I don't want to do all that. Like, I just want you to answer my questions. Um, but I could just, when we did the call, you know, and the call is like, you don't, you don't have to sign, you do the call, you don't have to sign up or whatever. It's just the call. Um, and I just felt like I could just tell that you wanted to help people out. I just got this really good, you know, first impression vibe. Um, I, I was nervous to tell my husband, like, I'm like, uh, I'm going to meet with someone I met on Instagram. And he's just like, okay, like, that's weird. Um, so yeah, I definitely was skeptical, but I, I, this has to be like, in my top three best things I've ever decided for myself. It might even be top one because I, I, I like, I'm just so thrilled. Like I, I never in my wildest dreams would I have imagined that like I could do this for myself. So like, you know, for you and your team to, to help me with this is just, is just amazing. Wow. That, oh, thank you so much. That is so sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Lisa. No, thank oh. you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I uh, seriously, sometimes, yeah, after the program ends and when I talk to clients and hear really their journey. And sometimes when we had that first consultation, yes, I kind of know like how you are right now. But then when we go come, but when we at this point and really look back, wow, like, you know, the growth you had experience and everything, the transformations and the journey and we can really, wow, it's like everything kind of, the points kind of like put together now. It was sort of like all over the places, but now we can line them up. Okay, you know why? I, I know now I did this wasn't right or maybe I should have done this and now you can actually connect the points and make sense to you and and then you were so consistent too so so tell me what were like some of the reason why you were so consistent in the program you showed up to my calls you checked in with me every week and you were always just so so proactive I know I never really have to worry about you so what made you uh were, was it like in your personality that you were consistent or like what what made you to stay on track and on course. Yeah, I think, I mean, it, it probably is part of personality. I know for me, like, you know, I did that program last year and I don't think I was in the right mindset and it also wasn't the right program for me, but I don't think I was in the right mindset um, to, to make a change for myself. So I think I, I think I finally was at my breaking point like this, this, I want to change. I, I want to do it. Um, you know, if I'm putting in the money and the time I have to, like, I have to put it in because if you don't, if you're not going to go at it a hundred percent, like then, you know, you might not see the results that you might have, if you did put a hundred percent. Um, and I know one of the affirmations you had in your video is if you, if you want something you've never had, you have to do something you've never done. And that, I just had that last week. So like, but I, that one to me was just like, I was like, that is so true. Like, it, you know, I, I've never exercised, I've never ate right, but I was like, I, I have to make this change. I have to, I have to see where it's going to go. And, and I thought like, at the very least, like, if nothing happens, then at least I tried. But I, again, like, I just can't imagine, like, I never my wildest dreams would I have thought that it, that it would work. And like, I just, I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. And what do you think was most helpful for you? Um, I think like, um, the Facebook community is really helpful. I know I was really nervous at submitting my videos at first. Like I didn't, I was nervous about being judged or, you know, like, oh, she doesn't know how to exercise. I had to like look up how to do a squat. Like I didn't even really know what that meant. Um, and, and just like the different moves or like, um, I was afraid of like, what if they say I'm doing it wrong? Like, are people going to judge me? Um, but the community is just so great. Like everyone is there to help each other out. Everyone's there for the same reason. Um, mm -hmm. And we're all just trying to, you know, just do something for ourselves. And I, I thought that that was really great. You know, I know other moms had said like, if when they see other other moms posting their videos, it makes them want to do it. Um, so I'm just like, okay, like I, I need to know if I'm doing these exercises correctly or not. Um, and I, I want to make sure, you know, I, there's no use in, in, in doing it wrong. And then a week later, it's like, oh, I was doing that wrong the whole time. I'm like, no, I need to know. I'm like, do my video. And see if anyone says anything in a few hours and when they do i can i can submit it and fix it you know yeah yeah and 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 that's one of the main i think that was one of the main for me when i somebody corrected like i was part of a, a group before, like a while ago and when they were able to correct me and screenshot telling me exactly where that i need yeah. to correct, i was like wow that is so helpful that's so powerful it's not like you can go to a gym that a personal trainer can actually lift your pelvis or maybe uh, okay, tell you how your form is because you're not actually working with a personal trainer at the gym but it's not like you're at the physical therapist's office neither they're like they're gonna watch you the whole time watching you doing the exercise 
So here, uh, virtually, how can you make this work without you doing the exercise yourself is to submit a clip of your exercise, and then we will, me and my team will be able to correct how you, how you do it. And then, yeah, that's why you can correct it yourself and have that confidence knowing that you're doing them right. Yeah, it, yeah, it's helpful because I would just, I would take a screenshot of the screenshot so it's in my photos and then I can always revert back to it. Like even after the program is done and I want to do these moves, I can go back and say, okay, this is what they said to make sure that I'm doing. So it's, it's really helpful. Yeah, yeah, so, so good to hear, so good. And um, what were, uh, was there, like, how's your, Okay, I remember there was one episode that you're like, oh, I can't do this anymore, like too many, it's too difficult. So how did you overcome that part? It, I'm sure throughout the three months, there might be some ups and downs. And how did you deal with that downs? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I, I think in the first, like the first half, there were a lot of up, ups and downs. I know, I know exactly what you're talking about. It was in particularly, um, it was when I started doing weights and, and I had to do a chest fly. I don't, I didn't even know what a chest fly was. And, you know, the, the um, video was suggesting, you know, go up to 15 reps. And I was like, okay, so I tried, I got to like three and then I thought my arms are going to fall off. And for whatever reason, I don't know if I was just having a bad day, but for whatever reason, like that really got to me. And I was like, I can't do this. I'm, I'm not like, I'm not going, it's, it's not that I didn't see results. It's just, I told myself, I'm not going to see results. Like, what's the point? I'm not going to do it. Um, and then I had talked to you later that night and I had talked to my sister during the day and she had said exactly what you said, which is quality over quantity. And I was like, how could I forget that? Like I, literally every video is like quality over quantity. And she was like, um, you know, maybe you do three this time, but maybe next week it's four, maybe it's five, maybe it's six. And, um, I know a lot of the moms that you have featured, they say, trust the process. And I would read those words and I don't think I knew what they meant, but, but I, I just let it go in my head and I just thought, okay, just do the, do the videos, what's on your calendar, just do it. And then just see what happens after the 12 weeks or the, the 90 days, you know, like just see what happens. So I think once I was able to just let it go out of my mind and worry about what I'm going to see and just let it happen, I, I feel like no sooner did I do that, like the following weeks, I was like, oh my gosh, like I am seeing a change. Um, and so I'm, I'm just really thankful that the, the other moms also were able to, you know, um, I, 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 I knew you had said like, reach out and see what other moms say and stuff. And they, they were really helpful with that. Wow. Good. I'm just curious. Have you counted how many chest fly, how many reps you can do now? <laughs> no. Okay. I don't count them. But I just, I, so even though I am done the program, I am still, like, I wrote down the exercises that I wanted to work on or ones that I thought were fun. Um, so I actually did just do some chest flies earlier. And I, I, I definitely got, don't judge me. I definitely got like past five, but I might've gotten to like eight, which is like really good. Cause I was doing that. And then right after that, it was like, um, like a tricep press and a few other things. Um, but it was like, I did my, my three that I did before, but um, I didn't feel like I was done after that. So, and also I don't like weightlifting at all. So the fact that I would even do weightlifting on my time, my time off is amazing to me. Like I, I do the exercises and they don't feel like something that I'm forcing myself to do. Like, I'm actually like, okay, I'm going to go, I'm going to go do my exercises now. And I'm like actually excited to do them. <laughs> Yay. Wow. From somebody who, who doesn't ex do exercise to somebody who <laughs> actually wants to do an exercise. I know. I can't believe it. Like I, if I tell, if I were to tell anyone, they like, they won't, they probably won't believe me. Like just because, yeah, I, I hated exercises before. Yeah. So that leads me to one of uh, the final question is like, so what, how do you feel now? Overall, I, physically, maybe with your kids? With your I like, I, I could probably cry, like telling you how happy I am. Like, I am just like, I can feel it when I, um, when I pick up my sons, I can feel it. Like I'm trying to like throw them. I try and throw them up in the air, like as much as I possibly can. But before I'd be like carrying them and I'm like, Oh, my arm hurts. But like, I pick them up. I like throw them. I spin them. Like, and having two boys is just, I'm sure the, the best is yet to come with, with all the rough housing they want to do and stuff. But it just, I can like, they want me to chase them. And I'm not like, I'm not like, Oh, like exhausted after a second of running after them. Um, I have bought new clothes. Like I had, um, uh, like a big family party last week and I felt I felt so good the whole entire day which I have not felt like that in probably like four years um I bought new shirts for a photo shoot we're having this Sunday and I'm I tried them all on and they all look great and I'm just like I'm floored I'm just so 
ha like I feel like I haven't been this happy in, in a long time. So I just really thank you and your team for for everything. That's amazing. So happy to hear. Now, I guess, you know, final question is, what would you say to other moms who are thinking about starting a program or maybe um, are, are skeptical about this? What would you say to them? I, I would say just trust your gut. Like for me, like it just, again, like the first impression with you, I, I could just tell that you cared. Um, I think that moms who are ready to make a commitment and change, like if you you know, like all the other moms say, like, trust the process, like really trust the process. Like it just, you just do what the videos say and just, just wait for your results to, to show in. And, and if you're having trouble with anything, like you and your team are so helpful with that. Um, it's just, I feel like you just can't go wrong. And, and moms deserve to do something for themselves. And like, for me, like I said, like, I, I'm just so happy that this is something I chose to do for myself. So it'll, it'll just, it'll change your life and your kid's life. And you know, being able to play with them how they want to play with you yeah. and yeah. And, and, and it's just so true. It's not really just for yourself or not just for your diastasis. It's actually more than you. It's about your kids being able to play with them and making memories with them and being able to do so much more fun things. It's not just about the physical appearance. It's like a lot more than that. I, I absolutely agree. Yeah. I, I, I'm greedy. I have one more question. <laughs> now, yeah. I know you're a mom of two. So how did you time manage to do the workouts in? And did you find the workout was simple enough for you to follow along or like to fit into your schedule? Yeah, I thought like timing wise, it, it's perfect. Like it, it's, you know, about a half hour to an hour every day. And, and that was perfect for me. Um, so I know I, I'm currently working from home. And so I just do it. I do it like during my lunch break and stuff. Um, I, um, I don't have like the biggest house in the world. So I utilize my, uh, my son's room to do the exercises. I've got all my equipment on in, in his room in the, in the corner and stuff. Um, so I definitely was trying to take advantage of, of, of working from home and, and just having the peace and quiet. So yeah, yeah, I know. We're, I'm all working from home now. So much more flexible. <laughs> you have to commute. And yeah, that's exactly like you can use that commuting time to put it into your health to, to, to make yeah. yourself better. And that is so smart. Well, <laughs> thank, thank you so much, Leanne. Um, yeah. so, yeah. I'm so happy to hear your experience and the result you have gotten from this program. Thank you so much uh, for coming in here and, and sharing your story with everybody. I think so many moms are going to be so inspired by you. Oh, thank you. So, and thank you again. I'm, thank you for starting what you did and just having your program. I, I really can't, I can't thank you enough from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. So uh, for those who are listening, if you wanted to connect with me, you can go on to my Instagram at Choi underscore. And there are a lot of contents about the Isthesis Rack Eye uh, from what to, how to, to some exercises. And if you wanted to know how you can work with me, you can just DM me or go to my page at www.kamiwarrior.com and you can find out more information from there. Thank you so much for tuning in and talk to you next time. Bye-bye.